someone's gonna get owned. Plugs endlessly, and this is a chance to show you just how fickle Lutzy really is. It's payback time. We've got uh, a fake website set up called FaubeShades.com, so they, they sell premium sunglasses. And now we just got to send an email from the fake account. The CEO is offering Lutzy the chance at uh, being the ambassador for this fake company. He's replied, thanks for getting in touch, mate. We'd be more than happy to have a chat with you about possible involvement to be honest, I don't know much about you guys, but it's certainly something I'd be interested in once we sat down and discussed things in great detail. <laughs> so he's fallen for a book by the sinker. Yeah. Lots he's fallen for the pain of the he's replied. So he, he read the email and uh, you know got all excited and then he's called me over and he's gone, hey, look at this, look at this. And he uh, he went straight to the, you know, um, ambassadorship thing and, <laughs> and all this and and he was getting all excited wasn't he mm -hmm. and then he said oh this is this this could be a gr like so he does think that there's an element of him he said this could be this could be jay setting me up we're here with blair who's our actor who's going to play uh the ceo of vogue shades hey blair hi you guys you know let's see um around brisbane you're the name that everyone drops like you're the cool dude and that's what we want with vogue we don't want sunnies we don't want sunglasses we want vogue shades brilliant <laughs> that was great i'm convinced the lapel on there blair you look very smart thank you we've got all of our sunglasses fake business cards also so this is the scene of the crime mecca bar do you want a coffee? Um, I'll just have a... Oh, no, actually, we'll sit in the water for a bit, actually. Yeah, all right, no worries. Brisbane's where we want to start it. We want to yeah. try it in a good market. Yeah. But it's all a case of, oh, if you can get someone who will give us the promo, someone we can hang a name on. Yeah, yeah, cool. So yeah. we basically want people who find fashion, not follow it, yeah, cool. in a way. Yeah. So they're going to go, hey, you've got to have a look at these, but you can only get them here yeah. and they might see someone say like yourself yep. who's going to be wearing them or talking about them. I think Brisbane's an interesting market not just with this sort of thing but even with bars and things like that there's a the shift of things is a very natural sort of progression I think with um, certain groups of people and even mm. certain individuals can sort of move things sort of across from one venue to another for instance as far as bars or and it's um it's and it's a it's a fairly um the, the group of people that can do it I think it's hard to identify exactly who it is but you can see you can sense where the movement comes from and that, and that sort of social the social group so for instance with this where you know, that word of mouth kind of thing where you can start sort of pushing people in another direction from where, yeah. from where they um, traditionally have been but I guess Sydney's the same but it's it's a, it's a good it's bigger it's a lot harder to sort of try and embrace that. Because, there's a chance of getting lost in that sort of thing. It's probably the greatest thing about the job is that you know the, the sort of people that I'm you know sort of um, hang out with and that sort of thing now through not just uh, initially it was more sort of sport related people but now it sort of transcends that. People like um, you know, Quade Cooper, Lions, I guess you're looking at Jonathan Brown. I mean Broncos in particular, um, you know T.O. and Corey Norman and those guys. Uh, you know, I do a lot of stuff with Darren Lockyer, it was untouchable up here, obviously. <laughs> Until 2010, I was the youngest ever board member of the Queensland Academy of Sport. Obviously, you know, like, the amount of Olympians and, you know, those sort of athletes I'm now friends with is extraordinary. That's another thing I really try and focus on. It's, it's still growing for me, but it's, uh, even at the moment, I think I'm starting to use it more effectively. And then I use Twitter purely for, um, building or giving value, adding value for those sort of key stakeholders that I work with. Cool. I have a point of difference with the MC work where, yeah, I, I, I'd rate myself above most people, you know, everyone in Brisbane as far as MC gets. I'm the most socially gifted person as far as you know, naturally like being able to handle social and, and meet people. It, it's, it's going well. You know, it, it's right. the, the profile next year is going to go hopefully, you know, expand a lot as well, which is good. Okay, in three, two... G'day, this is Lutzy, and I can guarantee you that my only shades are Vogue shades. 
That's awesome. Thanks, mate. I'll be thinking Yeah, we're about to head. Thank you very much, man. Anyway, mate, I've got to rock. All right, we'll speak to you over the coming weeks. So yeah, we will. Emails we will. Now, Thanks mate. again so much for um, coming on down. All right, Lovely to meet you, Lutzi. You take care, mate. See. See you later. Amazing. I think uh, I think we got him. He fell for that hook, line and sinker. Lutzi, you are absolutely screwed.